Good morning everyone. How's everyone doing today? So, I'm on the hunt for another breakfast by Lime Street Station. This place, someone mentioned it to me yesterday or the day before and said, apparently, this is the best breakfast ever. So, we're gonna go and try it. So the place I'm going is Key Lime Coffee, which is on Lime Street. Which is there, St. George's Hall is there, and obviously Lime Street Station is there. So, let's go and see if this is the best breakfast ever. See you in a bit. So, I'm getting that. Got to admit, in very expensive, of course. I'm gonna try it, alright. So, £9.50 for a breakfast with no tea or coffee. So, I'm more impressed. Here we go with beans, mushrooms, two bacon, one toast, two sausages, an egg, a bit of black pudding, and a grilled tomato. Well, here. Uh, I won't be eating the tomato and I won't be eating the mushrooms. Uh, sausages, look all right, both deep fried. Bacon is nice and thick. Could be deep under the grill for a bit longer. Uh, beans look all right. So, egg looks sad, they asked for a runny egg. Let's see what it's like. Tomato, mushrooms. Now, you won't believe I'm going to say this, look, look how greasy that is. That's a lot of, um, that's a lot of grease on a plate. Well, let's have a taste anyway. Sausage test. It's hot. Yeah. All the down for toast is cut into sandals, <laughs> which you can't stand that. Bacon. Do the bit being a little bit more. flavour in the bacon. So now let's do the um, the egg test. Ask for the runny egg. Yeah. Yes, got a runny egg. That's good. That greasy. See the grease all over it. Bad. Egg is sad, beans are sad, dipped on a sausage. So I'll do deep fried the sausage, look at one side of it. That's rock hard. The toast, because it's cut in the triangle, can't make a butty, so I'll dip it in the egg. Dip it in the beans. The 
Bestie than the day. Just got onto this. You toast, yeah. Warm bread. So I am finished. I'm not impressed with that. Um, look. Very, 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 very greasy. Look at that. So. So, um, key, lime, coffee. What have we got to say about that? Absolute shite. I knew it was going to be bad from when I read the menu, but I thought I'd give it a go. Because someone said it was the best breakfast. That's your best breakfast you've ever had, mate. You need to um, get out more. <laughs> £9.50, no drink. Not enough on the plate. Food is just all greasy. Everything tasted the same. Even when I finished it, you could just see the, gre the grease on the plate. And I know that's saying something for me, that I know you have uh, greasy spoons, this cafes and all that. But um, that's like a little posh coffee place. Yeah, it might be nice for coffees and little sandwiches and all that, but for cute breakfast, it's an absolute fucking no. Uh, it's up there with one of the worst breakfasts I've had. The jumbo I'd probably say is the worst one. That's that's the second I'd say. I'm giving that a three out of ten. I, I'm absolutely I'd say value for money. No chance. I know you. I know I'm starting to get onto it now. You're looking at a ten for a, a breakfast, but if you're going to charge a ten for a breakfast, you need to put a tenner's worth of food on it and give put a drink on there as well. It costs not to make a little cup of coffee, does it? Or a cup of tea? Throw a tea bag in a cup. It's, it, it's just, it, to be honest with you, it's scandalous. But, as I say, I'm up for trying all new places. That's one another good thing about I'm doing these reviews for. I'm going to places that I'd never normally go to. And people are saying, suggesting things. Like, I'm suggesting t to people, they like saying this place is good. You might like somewhere that I don't. And I might, I might like somewhere that you do, which is obviously the case here. So, um... Key Lime Coffee on Lime Street. It's bad one. So take it easy, yeah? Till I'm